Cubs hosting the Cardinals, and the Cardinals are minus 106 on the money line. The Cubs are minus 110. The over-under is eight runs. The Cardinals laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Cubs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 182, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one. You win. The weather for this game, this game is in game danger. Of course, there's only five games on tomorrow, and one of them has a chance of being rained out. 78 degrees, 9 mile an hour winds from the right to the left, and a 66% chance of rain, which also makes sense now with the pitching matchup because I did see either Gibson or Gray. It does look like they're going to go with Gray. It's just going to suck if it rains because this is a good pitching matchup and the weather will screw it up. Gray pitched twice against the Cubs this year. Seven innings, three runs, three earned. They lost 5-1. He struck out six. Five shutout innings. They won 4-3. He struck out eight. Amanga pitched once against the Cardinals this year. Six and two-thirds, two runs, two earned. They won 4-2 in St. Louis. He struck out seven. Head-to-head, -head, the Cardinals are seven and three. The home team, six and four. The favorites, five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is seven and three. There have been four one-run games in their last ten. The over is hit in their last three. The under is six and four. And the under at eight is also six and four. Now, for the pitchers, because this one is listing Gibson and it's not listing Gray, in his last 10 starts, he's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched, 7.1 strikeouts, 17.9 outs recorded, 5.6 hits, 1.5 walks, 3.5 runs, 3.2 of which were earned, 0.6 home runs, 88.2 pitches per game, and 15.4 pitches per inning. And Two starts ago against the Braves, they hammered him for four home runs in that game. For the Cubs, of course, they didn't announce a manga either. In his last 10 starts, or 10 appearances, because they... Five innings pitched, 5.2 strikeouts, 15.5 outs recorded, 5.2 hits, 2.4 Earned runs, 2.8 runs overall, 0.9 home runs. He has given up home runs in back-to-back -back st uh, starts. 79.6 pitches per game, 14.4 pitches per inning. And it just seems like he's coming back down to earth a tad bit. You know, his last start, he only struck out three. The start before that, he struck out 10. Then it was six. Then it was eight, three, three. So he hasn't been as consistent with the strikeouts either. The Cardinals are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. 7 runs, 9 runs, 9 runs, 11 runs. 4 runs and a win, 3 runs and a loss, 8 runs and a win, 10 runs and a win. For the Cubs, 5-5 five and five in their last 10. Seven, uh, 10 runs, 8 runs, 9 runs, 17 runs. 7 runs and a win, 1 run and a loss, 3 runs and a loss, and then 13 runs and a win. Now, this just depends on if this game happens because of the weather, and this is a great pitching matchup. But Amanga's actually pitching better than Gray is right now. And he's got a lower ERA. It's just, are the Cubs going to score enough runs for him? I'm going to take the Cubs with the money line. I will take the Cubs getting the runs, and I will go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.